2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And you can feel the anticipation building with the introduction of each player. Stick around. We'll be right back with Playoff Basketball. Welcome, everyone, to Game 3 of this Eastern Conference Round 1 matchup. 2 nothing so far. Perhaps the tide can turn this one. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Look at Cleveland's starting group. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Okoro in at the three spot. And for the Magic, Bancaro and Carter make up the inside pair. Filling the perimeter slots, it's Harrison Wagner. And it's Suggs in at the point. You look at the match. Even though they start this series in a hole, Greg, it wasn't entirely unexpected, but now at home, they have to put a W on the board. And, and you know, Kevin, I, I look for them to be more comfortable here tonight. You, you often shoot better at home. Sometimes role players produce more at home. It's an environment and a crowd filled with energy that you're used to. It's good. You love watching Donovan Mitchell push through contact. Big time frame, elite athleticism. Look out. Orlando moving the ball around. Van Carroll, that's good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Oh, oh he had him spin, and he looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Carter outside. Over Allen. And he gets the friendly spin in that one drops. Well, this guy, Carter Jr., has got tremendous shooting touch. You get him inside that free throw line, and look out, folks. He is lights out. It's tipped. Stolen by Mitchell. And the layup's good off the glass. Mitchell's got his second bucket. There is a level of physicality, and the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish through contact. Here's Ben Carroll. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. A good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, carry your offense for long stretches. Hopefully with it. Got by Suggs. Just time on the clock. Garland with the bucket. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Now, here's Wagner. Guarded close. Count that bucket. But you don't often see Wagner exploit the defense in the mid-range, but he understood this is where it will work for me right now. Garland the pass to Okoro. And here's Mitchell from the arc. It's good from long range. Mitchell's got seven. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And now the first time out called here for the match. Come on, everybody. Make the noise. Three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Wagner. And looks like the little kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. 
Mobley outside. Back to Mitchell. Shoots. Again, the Cavaliers score. Mitchell. Great start for him. 4-4. He could be in for a big game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Suggs with the ball, and Allen picks him up defensively. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. Okoro dishes to Mitchell. Wound up there for Allen. Up oh, high to stuff the alley -oop. Well, that's a highlight play for Mr. Jared Allen. Nice pass from his teammate. Now, here's Suggs. Hasn't made one yet. Carter, his shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. The Cavaliers leading by five. And here is a co roll. Right through the D for the layup. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Wagner kicks to Carter. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up here. Let's remember, Wendell Carter Jr. goes foul. about 6'10", 270. Good luck trying to stop first him without fouling. Foul. And he's got his first, first chance at the line here. At the line for the Magic, Wendell Carter Jr. I love that Wendell Carter Jr. plays within himself. Take high percentage shots, get as many rebounds as you can. Garland surveying the D. Pass to Mobley. Six to shoot. Here's Mitchell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's on Gary Harris. This is Donovan Mitchell in his toolbox, right? He uses the shot fake, gets that defender to fight. Nicely done. The Cavaliers shoot their first free throws here tonight. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, just such a relentless scorer, and that high energy he brings is always a huge catalyst for whatever team he plays for. Mitchell drops them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They come into this game after losing on Saturday. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game. And they didn't do that. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road. And they simply did not bring it. to Wagner. Good ball movement here by the match. Pass to Suggs. It's over Garland. Mobley with the block. Shooters have got to be careful and understand Evan Mobley is an elite shot blocker. He's going to let you feel him now, guys. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Wagner. That's his second wow. shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Some contact there, but Franz Wagner plays right. 
right through it. Allen finds Mitchell. Back to Allen. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Allen kicks to Okoro. Back to Allen. And he comes up with the deuce. Allen's got eight points. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Left side, Harris. The pass to Suggs. Shot clock at five. Count that one. You've got to be willing to get your shot blocked if you're a guard and you pour a inside. Jalen Suggs, what a finish. From 13, Garland with the bucket. Garland's got his third bucket of the night. Now, here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Wagner, right side, and there's the call on Evan Mobley. That's his first foul. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Mo Wagner's checked in for Carter. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Paolo Banquero. Markel Volt has checked in for Harris. And Anthony subbed in for Jalen Sutt. Here's Fultz. There's Wagner with the three. Drills it from outside. Well, this guy has the green light to take that shot. Wagner capable of hurting you off the catch and shoot. Avert against Fultz. Nine feet out. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Pass to Wagner. Over a Coro, and again, it's Orlando converting. You know, execute the turnaround as well as he did there, and there's not much a defense can do about it. Just have to hope the shot's not falling. Levert the pass to Niang to the inside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. This guy has got great positional size at the two guard. Isaac Coro can be challenging to guard. Okay, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Cavaliers? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Max Truce has checked in for Allen. And he can't hit the second. Well, the physical gifts of Isaac Okoro are evident. Now it's about what are my best skills and what can help me become a real rotation player in the NBA. And here's Cruz for three. Back Gets the three-pointer to fall. Three. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even give them a sliver of a window, and they're going to make that shot. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. And it's going to be out of bounds. The match will take it. Evan Mobley's checked in for the Cavaliers. Evan Mobley. Here are the Magic now. They trail by six. Wagner outside. Two minutes remaining. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Excellent concentration by Mo Wagner. And boy, what touch from the big man. Levert against Fultz in the end. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. And that one's good, Wagner. And it's eight points for Franz Wagner. 
Every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Bolts against Robert. That one doesn't drop. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Fultz, no good. Cleveland leading by five. Down low, Isaac with the steal. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Fultz, the pass to Isaac. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Don't let the frame fool you. Jonathan Isaac is lean, but he is unafraid of contact. I love that play. Jonathan Isaac. That free throw missing. I think the fact of the matter is all the tools are there for Jonathan Isaac. It's really a matter of being consistent for this young guy. And the second free throw, good. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Lavert against Fultz. A nice shot by Lavert. Lavert's got his second bucket of the game to go. Anthony looking it over. And he drops in the layup off the glass. When the defense makes Cole Anthony work for it, boy, he doesn't back down. Jonathan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And from what we've seen from the Cavaliers, what do you guys see? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Cleveland. They lead by four, so on the floor for Cleveland. We've got Lavert. Allen is out there with George Nian. Then it's Max Struess, and it's Mitchell in at the one spot. Down it goes. Nice one there from Niang. The Magic shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Anthony kicks to Bancaro. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Bancaro's got six. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close round. Nian with the bounce pass. Here's Allen. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Well, you like to see Jared Allen play to his strength. Just terrific at cashing in on the interior. To the paint. Here's Ben Carroll. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And it's eight points for Paolo Bancaro. Mitchell passes to Levert. Spruce. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Magic making a switch here. Harris is checked in. Garland, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Harris looking it over. Just his first attempt. And it's Orlando with another. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Well, this is exactly the kind of position you want Jared Allen shooting for. Right? He gets excellent position, makes defenders nervous this close. Good job drawing that foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Shoot two. Free 
free throw. Good, Allen. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. And Allen drops them both. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. And it's Suggs missing. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Anthony against Garland. Here's Allen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Allen's got the lead up to nine now for the Cavs. Harris with it. Pass to Wagner. Shoots over Garland. Again, the magic score. Get into that mid-range bag mode. Wagner happy to make that work. Garland dishes to Mitchell. To Garland. Shoots over Wagner. And again, it's Cleveland. Now that was pretty. A beautiful move to set up that jump shot. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. There's the dish to Suggs. Knocks it loose. And Mitchell with a clear path to the hoop. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Well, we talk about Donovan Mitchell as an exceptional two-way talent. No better example than right there. Here's Isaac. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Mitchell dishes to Garland. Very pretty alley playoff. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. Well, just quick with the decision making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Pass to Suggs. Banked in off the glass. Suggs has got his second basket of the game. I hear this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. So, timeout call here. The first for Cleveland. Mitchell, that's tipped. Sometimes you need excellent anticipation defensively to get your hand on the shot. Jalen Suggs, nicely done. And that's a terrific sequence at, at both ends there. There was the block shot, then the run out, and nice finish on the break. Back to Allen. Over to the wing. Five to shoot. Garland, and he makes that one. Ten points for Darius Garland. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Now the pass to Isaac, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. This is a very confident young guy. Jonathan Isaac feels like he belongs in the NBA. Welcomes the contact in that instance. The Magic have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. The Magic making a switch here. Fultz has checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Okoro's checked in. Now, Struess, eight points for him. 
Passes to Niang. Right wing. And he's going up for the alley -oop. Oh, what a Whoa. pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Outside Anthony. Makes no mistake on the open junction. The Cavaliers leading by six. Garland, the pass to Struz. Count that one. Struz has got ten points in the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Inside. That's good from Fultz on the assist by Anthony. Anthony's got three assists tonight. Well, it's excellent recognition from Cole Anthony, but how about your offense working to get a man that wide open? Pretty. It's Garland, and it's sent back by Isaac. Anthony, the pass to Isaac. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. And this is an area that Jonathan Isaac continues to work on. He is being aggressive and finish. Arlen gets to Niang. And he's good on the three ball. He's got ten. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Jared Allen with a strong contribution so far in this one. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy scoring at will, and they've had no answer. Switch here also for Cleveland. Merrill's checked in. Wagner outside. Over a Coro. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. Well, that shows you the combination of size, strength from Franz Wagner. Like, seriously, well done right there. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Evan Mobley's checked in for the Cavaliers. Kyrus Levert comes in for Max Struess. Guys, when you're talking about young players, the first thing I want to know is do they have passion and enthusiasm for the game? Franz Wagner, he's got every bit of that. Here's Merrill, covered by Anthony. Rebounded by Anthony. The Magic trail by four. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Cole Anthony understanding my teammate has stolen it. Let me get out and transition and get an easy two. Here's a Cole. Five on the clock. From 11 feet away. What a big time block from Franz Wagner. Wow, how about the grit on the defensive end? Back to Isaac. Mobley with the block. Oh, it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. The Magic making the switch here. And Carroll's checked in. Here's Wagner. He's guarded closer. It's good. This game is all even. It is always so fun to watch a guy with a well-rounded offense being heat up. Mr. Hans Wagner, welcome to the party. It's stolen by Fultz. And here we go. Fast break. Fultz has got it. And here's Anthony from the arc. Hands it from downtown. Anthony's got the lead up to three now for Orlando. And the Cavaliers call time here. 
and looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Give it up again for the 407 Dan Steve. at six over Carter a nice shot by Okoro Okoro's got five well Okoro wants to be a complete player and that means he's got to develop that three level scoring we know what he can do defensively stolen by Levert now here's Okoro He's defended by Wagner. A nice shot by Levert. Boy, with the confidence level you can see in Harris Levert to catch and shoot. It hits his fingertips and he's ready to roll. Here's Anthony. The rebound by Niang. Cavaliers leading. Here's Merrill. Still without a basket. Levert the pass to Niang. That's good. That's Levert with the assist. Assisted. Levert's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. One forty-one left to play in the first half. Agner passes the court. Listen, it is not easy to guard a big, physical, tough guy like Wendell Carter Jr., right? Without telling him, it's not easy to do. For Orlando, they have gone four for five for the charity strike for this one up to there. First free throw is good. And good job they're doing at the line this quarter. They'll need to continue converting those free throws. Wagner's checked in for Anthony. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Cleveland has gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. Fultz looking around. Wagner passes to Wagner. Rocket six. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Here's Ben Kill. Hits the three point bomb. Ben Kill's got 11. You can see Boncaro building that confidence behind the arc. How effective can he be from range? There's 45 seconds left in the first half of the game. From 13, and there's another one for the Cavaliers. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Pass to Wagner. And for Fultz, he gets it in there. And he gets the bucket. Fultz has got four this quarter. Well, terrific to see Markel Fultz knock it down, looking more and more assertive in the mid-range. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. The Cavaliers have shot six or seven at the line. Sam Merrill. Two shots. Shoot two. The 
first one falls for. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. He's perfect from the line this time. 19 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Now, here's Ben Carroll. 11 points in the game. And the pass to Subs. Unloads from 13. Again, the Magic score. Well, that's about the defense keying in on Ron Carroll. He recognizes it and shows off his vision. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Cavaliers lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with J.B. Bickerstaff, Coach. What will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? Well, we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep down in the post. We got to be very aggressive early, not letting them get deep post catches, make them have to kick the basketball out and not take those easy buckets. That is doing your work early, and we'll see if you can do it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Welcome to our postseason halftime show. Ernie Johnson along with the Diesel and the Jet. For the Cavaliers, they have taken care of business in the first two games, but they got a fight on their hands tonight. They're not going to be able to just cruise to a 3-0 lead in this series. It's going to take some effort in the second half. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. Check. what do you think about Orlando? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All the energy has been spent on defensive. And that's a change. We're just going to keep giving up easy buckets, and the game's going to get away from them. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And your Magic Youth Dance Team. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. You look at Jared Allen in this game. He has been everywhere. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Filling the perimeter slots, it's Harrison Wagner. Ben Carroll is out there with Mo Wagner. And it sucks in at the point. That's the group starting the second half for Jamal Mosley. Garland dishes to Allen, and Allen slams it in. Well, this highlights the agility of Jared Allen. So decisive, so quick in the pick and roll. Now, here's Wagner. T right on him. The shot's good. Wagner's got 15. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Bancaro kicks to Wagner for the lead. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Wagner's got four points this quarter. Garland, the pass to Allen. Over Wagner. That's good from Allen on the assist from Okoro. Okoro's got five assists in the game. Now, here's Sun. Guarded by Garland. Mitchell outside. Here's Allen. And Allen slams it in. Well, this guy's such a reliable presence on the glass. Jared Allen using that length to save the play. It's stolen by Allen. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded closely. Kicks to Mitchell. Lets it go with a three. A 
offensive rebound. And staying with the play, Allen. Now it's a five-point Cleveland lead. Listen, if you don't put a body on Jared Allen, this guy's going to make you pay. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Checked in for Orlando. And Cleveland also making a change. Max Truss has checked in for a Coro. Suggs dishes to Carter. It's stolen by Allen. Struess against Wagner. Arlen kicks to Struess. Outside Garland. It's stolen by Van Karen. In the corner, it's Harris. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down now to just three in the bucket from Suggs. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Allen finds truth. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Assisted by... Allen's got three assists now in this one. Harris outside. And Caro inside. Mobley's there. And here's Carlin for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. And it's an eight-point Cavalier lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Ben Kim. Mobley with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mobley. For the matchup, Isaac comes in for Paolo Banquero. And Anthony subbed in for Vaughn. Just five to shoot. Knocked loose. It's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Lock it two. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Trains the three-pointer. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. Well, uh, these catch-and-shoot opportunities are the money for Gary Harris. He spent his career making these rhythm shots. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. I like this throwback approach they're taking. Look at the score. Hodgson and shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. And here is Anthony. Nine points in the game so far. Harris. They grab their own miss. And Isaac stays with it. Well, with that length, you want to see Jonathan Isaac attack the offensive glass. Put that 7-1 wingspan to work. Allen outside. Allen with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Here's Struess. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Isaac touched the left ball.
Shot clock at two. And yes, it's good. Visuals got 15. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic. Seven point differential. Isaac outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on moving. Well, the size and the length of Jonathan Isaac presents a problem for the defense. This guy uses that frame to draw fouls. He's shooting free throws, number four Shoot and five two. here. That's good from Isaac. The Magic making a switch here. Volt is checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Shoots from 12. And again, it's Cleveland. Darius Garland cooking right now. Boy, when he gets going, he is a problem. Outside Anthony. Carter for three. Kept the live Orlando. Good on the bucket. Isaac's got six in the quarter. And the D getting out work there on the putback. She not let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. You talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. And the Cavaliers call time here. Making a change here. LaVert's checked in. Here's Allen. He's got 24. A nice shot by LaVert. LaVert's got eight points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got five assists tonight. Anthony against Mitchell. It's stolen by Carter. Isaac outside. Anthony with it. Nine points in the game so far. Carter outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Anthony with the jam. This guy is so creative. Such an excellent handle. Nice drive by Cole Anthony. Lavert the pass to Mobley. Now Lavert. Eight points for him. Mitchell outside. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. There's a measure of composure with Donovan Mitchell. Just so calm and focused, understanding how to manipulate the pick and roll. Here's Fultz. And it's in there. He's got six. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. That one drops for him. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. Fultz against LaVert. Isaac outside. And it's Carter missing. Cleveland leading by four. And here's Cruz for three. 
Good, and the Two. assist goes to Mitchell. Three. Mitchell's got four assists in the game. And the basket by Isaac. Isaac's got eight points in the quarter. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish from contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. And it's Drews missing. Orlando's gone six and seven from long range tonight. They've been on fire from way outside. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Passes it to Kirk. That one is good again. He sits right for the floor with the basket. They are just killing him on the interior. Spruce against Harris. Bruce gets to Allen, launches it, and it's sent back by Carter. When Carter Jr. works hard on the defensive end, these rejections become commonplace. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. He misses the free throw. So for the Magic, Mo Wagner's checked in for Wendell Carter. And Bancaro's subbed in for Harris. And he sinks the second. Hans Wagner's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. the third. The Magic trail by five. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now here's Anthony. 11 points in the game. Here's Wagner. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Wagner's got 11. Defense trying to get physical with Mo Wagner and he says I'll power right through that contest. That is nicely done. A quarrel with it. Defended now by Wagner. And the shot goes in. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Shot's good by Anthony. As comfortable as anybody from deep, you cannot leave Cole Anthony open. Avert against Fultz. Left block shot on the way. Allen, that's good. Allen. Allen's got 28 points for the game. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. The drive by Anthony, and it's Anthony with the jam. Oh, my goodness. The momentum of the drive, the airtime on the finish. Cole Anthony, that is too nice. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, and you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. For the Cavaliers, Jarrett Allen taking two shots. He's off on the first. Suggs, he's jumped in for Orlando. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. They trail by three. Wagner against Allen. Six for six. Oh. He's left the miss from the field. Wow, you can't let Wagner get established like that. If he does, scoring is easy. And here's Levert. He's got eight. Let's the three fly. Nailed from three-point land. Levert's got five points now this quarter. 
that shot missing. Jared Allen has been on display for Cleveland. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebound. Back to the action in just a minute. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back on the court. On the court for Cleveland. They've got Garland. Okoro out there with Levert. And there's Jared Allen. And it's Merrill in at the two. Here's Ben Carroll. 11 feet out and he hits it. How about the finish through contact by Paolo Boncaro. Very tough to guard this guy because of that big time frame. To the left side wing. And stolen by Wagner. Anthony with it. Garland picks him up. And Carroll outside. Here's Suggs. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And despite his young age, we know Jalen Suggs has proven to be a tremendous leader. His teammates love playing with this guy. Shooting two. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Isaac's checked in for the Magic. Harris comes in for Cole Anthony. Evan Mobley's checked in for Cleveland. And it's tied up with that one. And so it's Cleveland with it to the right side. Holds it up there for Mobley. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Well, the unspoken communication on the alley-oop and Evan Mobley making his teammate look good. To the inside. Here's Isaac. Mobley with the block. To the middle. There's Garland. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Mobley against Isaac. Three pointer counted, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just one on the basket from Suggs. Yeah, you're seeing Isaac mature as an offensive player, finding your open teammate such a critical skill. Man, good fun. And the Magic making a change here. Carter's checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Mitchell's checked in. Substitution on the court. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Master Levert fires from deep. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Wagner against Levert to the paint. Eight feet away. Here's Isaac. Hits the jumper. Isaac's got 20 points. When Jonathan Isaac gets cooking like this, it shows what the future could be. He has the skill set to be devastating. Mobley right side. Back to Garland. Four on the shot clock. Over Suggs. Who's back up? Here's Mobley. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on Jonathan Isaac. And one of the stories of the second half has been all of those second chance points. I mean, they have been terrific on the offensive backboard. He throw good, Mobley. 
Boy, no question, Evan Mobley is brimming with potential, and you love his attitude, his work ethic. This guy, the sky's the limit. Wagner outside. Releases. The Cavaliers pull it in. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the reward. So you just have to stay with it here. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Corner kicks to Wagner. Shoots over Levert. And it's Wagner missing. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. Garland dishes to Mitchell. Levert with it. Kicks it out to Garland. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. And now a 10-point Cavalier lead. Well, I like the no hesitation. Darius Garland knows you have to be assertive in catch-and-shoot situations. Suggs. Good. Nice job down low. And that's 15 points for Jalen Sun. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Here's Wagner. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. That's a big time finish by Franz Wagner. Might be young, but he is undeterred. And the Cavaliers go time here. break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. Now he heaped praise on the defense. He said the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Well, Karis LeBert can fill it up from anywhere, but this guy is a terrific mid-range scorer. Levert against Wagner. Mobley with the rebound. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Mobile. Even though they're down, they are on a show at the free throw. Line for Orlando, Jonathan Isaac. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Isaac. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Levert the pass to Mitchell. 
Latrey, and another three for Donovan Cleveland. Mitchell. My three. goodness, Donovan Mitchell from another zip code. This guy opens the rest of the floor. Here's Isaac. There's another block. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Max Drews comes in for Evan Mobley. And it's a Coro in for Karis LeVert. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Isaac. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. And both free throws good for Isaac. Here's Mitchell. Outside Garland. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got six assists here tonight. Well, you ignore the contact, finish the shot. Great concentration from Mr. Garland. Here's Isaac. Magic working now with the new shot clock. And it's sent back by Allen. Spruce kicks to Garland. Down low, it's Allen with the drive, and he banks in the layup. Assisted. Allen's got the lead up to 13 now for the Cavs. Now Suggs inside. Here's Isaac, and that one is good. Isaac's got eight points in the quarter. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. To the paint, Spruce kicks to a Okoro. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. And play stops the whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Boy, it's ball security ball in the first half. But since then, it's an absolute disaster. Cleveland's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Suggs, covered by Mitchell. Got a piece of it, but about a bounce. Magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Here's Suggs, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Suggs has got 11 in the second half. Mitchell kicks to Struess. Now, here's Garland. He's tightly guarded. Basket good. So many ways Darius Garland could score. That floater game time is on time point. Out. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And, Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. 407 that speed. His performance has been a jaw-dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. 
because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Wagner passes to Suggs. Back to Wagner. And that one's in. He's only missed 3 of 13. Jalen Suggs has proven early. If you're open, he's going to find you. Pretty pass. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Now, here's Okoro. He's defended by Wagner. A nice shot by Okoro. What tremendous control from Isaac Okoro. His coaches encourage him to attack through contact. Wagner kicks to Suggs. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Mitchell, this is to Okoro. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's good for Macoro. And Cleveland making a change here. Merrill's checked in. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Wagner. One thirty-two left to play here on the fourth. Pass to Suggs. Fires top of the key. And Orlando again with the bucket. Well, uh, you've got a talented ball handler with tremendous speed, and Jalen Suggs saying, "All right, I can score the basketball in a variety of ways." Garland attacking. Uses the glass to finish the way. Garland's got the lead up to 13 now for the Cavs. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Cavaliers. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And this series has really gone their way. Yeah, it looks like a sweep may be in the cards with tonight's win. They'll be going up 3-0, and this is exactly what they wanted to do. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jared Allen. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. And it's sent back by Allen. The shot's good from Carter. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mitchell looking it over. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. You know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinal. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.